So why did I quit my job? I just finally got clear on what exactly I want from my life and I'm not willing to wait anymore to make it happen. Hello everyone. Oh my gosh. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. I cannot believe that I have a channel and I have a video posted. I've been talking about doing this for like a year. So it's so exciting it's finally up, but let's just jump into it because I know what you're really here for. You're here for the tea. Um, so as you can tell from the title of this video, I quit my job as head of marketing at Girlboss. And if you're counting, that means I quit two dream jobs in one year during a pandemic. The last year has been a wild ride for my career. I have learned so so much. I have grown so much in some areas. I've been really, really challenged in other areas. And in this video, I really just want to kind of like pull back the curtain and talk to you about what's been happening in my life the last year, basically. And the things I couldn't really share on Instagram stories. You know, I get asked a lot, like, do you ever worry about your coworkers seeing your videos? And you know, in this case, yeah, obviously I couldn't be sharing on Instagram stories that I'm thinking about leaving my job and all the stuff that comes with that because, you know, you have to like keep your job. So why did I quit my job? Especially why did I quit so soon after starting? The honest answer is just that I want to work for myself. I want to have full control over my schedule. I want to choose how I spend my time. And I really want to build my dream lifestyle and then like fit my work and business into that lifestyle instead of trying to fit my life around my work and my business. And honestly, I think that I can do all of that and be really happy and make more money, like a lot more money. Just being honest. <laughs> So the main thing you're going to want to know is what the hell am I doing next? And I am starting a business and the business is me. I'm going all in on my personal brand as a content creator, as a course creator. And I'm just so excited to devote all my energy to one place and to really have time to finally create the content I want to and to execute a vision for myself. So let's get into it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I started working at Girl Boss part time running the Instagram account in September. In January, I came on full time as head of marketing. So I've only been in that full time role for six months. A lot of people that I love and trust and respect told me not to quit. A lot of people told me stay till September so you can say that you've been there for a year, you know, that's like best practice for your resume and your LinkedIn and stuff. But I do not operate my life like that. I make decisions really based on like my emotions and how I'm feeling and whether something's serving me. And I really do not care if people judge me for like leaving a job so quickly. I don't think it's a failure. I think it's a success that I'm able to be so clear on what I want and go after that. And not just like do what society or other people tell me that I should do just for the sake of doing it. So when I left my job at later as director of content marketing, I had my entire self worth and my entire identity was wrapped up in being like Taylor from later. And I genuinely did not know who I was going to be without that job title. And it took me so much work through therapy to learn that like I have worth and I have value outside of my job title or whatever brand that you are associated with. I was able to bring a lot of the things that I learned in therapy with me into my new role. And that really, really helped me with setting boundaries. I was friendly with my coworkers, but I didn't become their best friends. I really looked at like, this is a job. This is not my identity. This does not define who I am as a person. And I worked really hard to like create those boundaries. And I think that's what made it a lot easier for me to leave because I was looking at it as a strategic business decision instead of like a personal decision of like leaving my family. I don't know if you noticed, but I barely shared about Girlboss on my Instagram stories because 
I really wanted to not be the face of another brand like I was at later. I wanted to be my own person and have my own value and my own worth outside of whatever my job title was. And I quit later. I quit with the intention of starting my own thing. And I'm right back there now. <laughs> Funny how things work out, but I got like distracted from my mission. And that's okay, those things happen. And I don't regret it at all because I learned so much and I had so much fun at Girl Boss and doing that. So when I started Girl Boss, it was like so energizing because I got to like come into something and it was an account that was losing followers. And we got to like, you know, get to a point where it wasn't losing and then actually get to the point where it grew. And I think like growing over 300,000 followers in nine months in this Instagram economy, I think that's a pretty, pretty good achievement that I'm really proud of. So when I got offered the full-time position at Girl Boss, I took the job and I did it for a few reasons. Like I really loved our team and I loved working with them. I'm so proud of the rebrand we did, our new mission to like redefine success and actually going to have an impact, you know, with a, such a big audience. I thought it was a real privilege and I had an amazing time doing it. Honestly, there were other factors too. During the pandemic, it felt like all of my friends were having babies, getting a house, or getting a dog. These are your three options. <laughs> Everyone was working on these big life milestones and I just kind of like went along with it. And I was like, yeah, me getting a house, like that's gonna make me happy, that's successful. Like that's what I should be doing right now. Very like in a pandemic tunnel, thinking that buying this house was going to be my dream and my future and then I would be happy. And honestly, it was just gonna be a lot easier to get a mortgage if I had a job and I was making good money. I don't think I would have been able to like buy a house while also trying to like figure out my whole freelance thing. That wasn't gonna happen. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a job. I love the team, I love the mission and I'm gonna get a house and everything's gonna work out great. At the same time that I started full-time at Girl Boss, I also launched my content planning workshops. And this was the first time I have ever like made money from my personal brand that I've been working on building for the last like 10 years. And I finally actually made money from it. And people wanted to pay money to learn from me. And I was shook by that. I did the content planning workshops because we were gonna buy our very first car. And I was like, okay, if I can make $3,000 to pay for the down payment for this car, then that will so be worth it. So that was my goal. I wanted to make $3,000. And the response was incredible. And I actually ended up making over $30,000. And that was without like any fancy launches, no ads, just my community showing up for me. I didn't have any like production costs. It was just me on Zoom. The first day was a very bad technical failure on Zoom. Anyways, we got through it. Um, but most importantly, it was really the first time that it validated to me the concept that like people would pay to learn from me and that my education and my content is valuable and that you could actually like put a dollar sign towards that. So that was a big eye opening moment for me because again, I did not expect it, but I've been making online courses for literally 11 years and I've been making them for other people, other brands. And this was the first time that I was like making my own money from my own courses. And it was super exciting. And suddenly I was just like, oh shit, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? So in March, we did the Girl Boss rebrand. We launched the new Girl Boss Radio podcast with Puno as the host. And, you know, the whole new brand is talking about like redefining success and what that means and showing so many different versions of success that you can't help but come up with your own. But this whole time while we're like promoting it, I'm doing internal soul searching being like, what is my definition of success? Like really truly what is that? And slowly through figuring out what my version of success was, I was starting to realize what I wanted and that was to be my own boss and to run my own business, to create my own content. And I just thought, that's great. I'm gonna do that all in the future. I'm gonna do that 
like a year from now. I'm gonna do that when it's time to move on from girl boss. Cause again, I really liked my job. But then in March, my father-in-law died suddenly and it was very hard on our family. It still is very hard. Um, you know, with COVID, like we hadn't been able to see him for over a year and to just have someone die suddenly without like any warning is just, it really like shakes you to your core. And so we went down to San Diego. Uh, the borders were closed. There was, you know, a whole thing with trying to get down there and traveling. And we were there for about three weeks. And when we came home, we quarantined for two weeks. That time was such a blur and even thinking about it like brings up a lot of trauma like it's so fresh but I think like the one thing that it really illuminated was that life is so short and it can be taken away from you at like any moment. I didn't even want to wait a year to start building my dreams. I wanted to go after them now and i just had such a crystal clear vision for my life and I didn't want to wait any longer to make it happen. And that pandemic dream I had of buying a house, I realized like that was not what I wanted. I was kind of like going along with everyone else's dreams and everyone else's paths instead of listening to my own. I didn't want a baby. I didn't want a dog. I didn't want a house. I wanted my business. That's what I really wanted. And I am so happy to be making that a reality now. Now, I do want to talk about privilege for a quick second because the only way that I could like afford to quit my job is because of what the ever so talented Lucy Liu says of fuck you money. And that's basically having savings in your account to give you that security that if a situation isn't right for you, whether that's like a job or a relationship or a living situation, that you have money to leave that situation and do what's right for you. If I didn't have savings, I wouldn't have been able to leave my jobs at either Later or Girl Boss because I'm someone who gets very, very anxious about money. I need to feel financially secure at all times. And if I didn't have savings, like I would have kept working until I did. And I totally understand that like not everyone can just start a new job and like quit it right away. Or not everyone can like take time off for their mental health. I understand that's not realistic and I'm in a place of privilege for that. But I just want to like make sure that you understand that like only because I prioritize savings am I able to kind of like take this leap of faith. Because taking the leap of faith to become self-employed is really scary. I have no idea when I'm going to get paid next. I have no idea who that will be from. I have no idea how much money I'll be making for the rest of the year. Okay, so I just got my last paycheck ever. Hopefully my last paycheck from a real job ever. I am freaking stoked. I was really anxious because money is like a huge anxiety trigger for me. But I just realized that I completed my savings goal of having six months of living expenses saved up. So I'm feeling so much better going into self-employment now and I'm ready to live my new life. Ah, I'm doing it. So aside from being able to, you know, like create my own schedule and create my own content, I really just want to put all my energy and talents into one place. I put so much of myself into my work. And ultimately, if I'm like making sacrifices in my life for my job, at the end of the day, I want that business to be benefiting like me. I've had some amazing jobs at tech startups and grown them, you know, from barely anything into millions and millions of dollars. But ultimately those are really benefiting the founders of those companies. And now I'm ready to like benefit me. If I'm pouring so much energy into my work, I want it to be for my own business and not for someone else. I don't want to be like giving so much for other people. I'm just over that now. I'm just ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Bring it on. Bring it on. So when I tell people that I'm going to be focusing on building my own brand, a lot of people don't really understand what that is. <laughs> I'm guessing most of you, if you're marketers, you totally get what I mean. 
But basically, I thought I would just spell it out a little for you of what my priorities are for like the next three to four months. So the main thing I'll be focusing on and what I think I'll be making the most money from is courses. I'm going all in as a course creator. And right now I'm working on two courses. So the first one is an Instagram Reels course that's going to be out sometime this summer. It's going to be pretty affordable, lower price item. It'll be an evergreen course that you can buy at any time. And I'm very, very excited about that. The second course I'm working on is going to be a much larger ticket item course with someone else. And I'm very excited about it, but it has to stay a little bit secret right now. I hate teasing things, but it's a teaser. Okay. But trust me, it's going to be good. As for you, my amazing community, the main thing you'll probably be noticing is that I'm going to be creating a lot more content. So that's going to be, of course, on my like Instagram and my Instagram stories, but also this new YouTube channel. So if you're watching this video, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on videos. I am kind of new to watching YouTube myself, but I'm falling so quickly in love with it over the last year. And it's so easy if you subscribe to people, you can just go to like the subscriptions channel on the side and like see all their videos. I love watching YouTube videos on my lunch break. So I'm very excited to get this channel going. It's a whole social channel that I really don't know that much about. So it's a fun challenge for me. And I'm really excited to get to like talk a lot more in depth about marketing things with y'all. I'm also going to be starting my own blog very soon. So you're, there's going to be blog content, it's gonna be video content, there's gonna be social content. And I'm just so excited to get to really focus on my own content and have my own vision come to life. I am probably realistically also going to be taking on a few freelance projects, but I'm going to be doing this in a very limited capacity. I only want to do things that are projects that are really exciting to me for brands I feel very aligned with. Um, and I'm going to be very, very picky about it, but I do have a wait list. If you are interested, you can check it out at the link in the description, I guess. I'm still getting used to this whole thing. One change that you will see is that I am going to now be doing sponsored content on my channel. So I haven't done a sponsored Instagram post in I think like two years. So we'll see how that goes. What else? Oh, my brand. So I'm currently working on creating a whole new brand identity with the team at I Love Creative Studio. I am so excited about this. Design is not really like my forte. And so when it came down to what investments I wanted to make in my business, I knew right away that having like a solid brand identity was going to be one of them. And I'm also really working on honing in on exactly like what I want the vision of my content to be and like what types of videos I want to make, what types of advice I want to share, like what do I want to be known for? I definitely don't want to be pigeonholed into just the social space because as much as I love that, I also have like a lot of other marketing interests that I love that are in like the general content marketing sphere. So um, stay tuned. I'm definitely going to be sharing all of the behind the scenes of like building my brand and everything on my channel. So I'm very, very excited about that. So there you have it. That's like my story in a nutshell of what's been going on. Lots of personal things mixed with business and that's just life. My next video is going to be all about my career story. So I'm going to talk about starting like in college. Like what did I study? Spoiler alert. I don't have a degree. If you don't want to miss out on my YouTube content. Make sure that you like and subscribe wherever the buttons are. I'm not sure. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for your support. I literally feel like I'm like the luckiest girl in the world to have such an amazing community of people who support me, champion me, empower me. And I hope that I can give back to you through my content and value what you give to me in encouragement and support. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hi. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it now. Yeah. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm recording my first YouTube video. Ah!